He went from prominent politician to common criminal. Literally, I went from the Michigan Senate floor to the Wayne County Jail inmate number 201600 That was the fate for Virgil Smith after pleading guilty to malicious destruction of property following a highly publicized domestic dispute with his ex-wife. Now for the first time, he's telling his side of the story exclusively to the defenders. Smith resigned from office and spent 252 days in jail as part of a plea deal with Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy. But now that sentence has been vacated and the original charges with their 10 year potential prison term have been reinstated. Defender Kevin Dietz is here now and Kevin, I understand he agreed to answer all of your questions despite having this serious criminal trial in front of him. He did, and it's a big gamble on his part. He is charged with felonious assault, felony firearm, malicious destruction of property, and domestic violence. He says the version of the story his ex-wife has given is not true, telling me since the event he has been sober for over three years, insisting he is proud of his new life and wants people to know what happened the day his career came crashing down. This is Virgil Smith's account of the encounter with his ex-wife. She had texted me in the morning asking to have sex. I said, call me, I'm going to the Tigers game. I had been drinking all day. I, I hooked up with my fr you know, a friend of mine. We were asleep. Around one something in the morning, I hear somebody banging on my window. I get up and it's her. All hell broke loose from there. She is outside screaming and yelling, why am I not answering my phone? I'm like, please go home, why are you here? Am I now my guest is up? I'm like, look, you just sit here, do not come outside, do not come out, do not leave this bedroom. I'm gonna go outside. I felt like I could de-escalate the situation and eventually she would leave and go home. That didn't happen. So I opened my screen door, she yanks it open, ducks under my arm, kicks the main door open as I'm trying to close, and she's in the house. She's running straight to the bedroom. So then I give chase. She busts through the door. At that point, my guess was, I mean, she looked like she was in shock. She didn't know what was going on. And I grabbed her like this, picked her up, and I'm leading her out the house. And that moment, she bit me here, she's scratching me here. She, you know, she's, She's just in a fit of rage. At this moment, she's literally got a chair from my side, from my front porch. She's about to throw it at my car. And she throws the chair up in the air towards the house, and she just takes off down the street. She takes off down the street, and that's when I made this most dumb decision I've ever made in my life. That's when I said to myself, You know what? I said, I know how to end this. That's what I, I remember saying that to myself. And I grabbed my rifle. The goal was really just to shoot in the air so she wouldn't come back. Because I didn't know where she went and I didn't want her to come back. When I looked at that car, I don't know, it was like an out of body experience. Yeah, I did shoot that car. I didn't shoot in the air. I shot that car. But she was not there at the time. She had already ran off. And that was the worst decision I've ever made. Even though Smith spent eight months in jail, he is back to square one. That's because the Supreme Court says the sentencing judge should have let prosecutor Kim Worthy take back her plea deal offer when the judge said the prosecutor could not force Virgil Smith to resign from office or prevent him from running for public office in the future as part of the sentence. Worthy was so upset that Virgil Smith refused to resign immediately and then ran for city council in 2017. She is using that Supreme Court ruling to bring the original charges back. Much more of that tonight at 11. Very candid. Yeah, yeah. very forthcoming. I answered every question I had. Yeah. All right. Well, Can't we'll look forward to tonight at 11. Right, yeah. Thank you, Kevin.